A cattleman in Escovares wants protection from cattle fever ticks. He says they can devastate his ranching business. Channel 5's Frank McCaffrey reached out to the federal government to see what's being done to protect South Texas livestock. The U.S. Department of Agriculture says it's working with property owners to install fencing along strategic portions of a permanent tick quarantine land in Zapata County. It plans to eventually extend the fence into Star County. A Star County rancher says this helps him avoid loss of his herd. Getting real nervous on you. Roberto Escobar says his family has owned land in Escobar since 1767. He says they've been through a lot over the years. Recently, his focus has been on the cattle fever tick. He says they've been prevalent in his part of Texas and spread through other wildlife such as deer. He fears the ticks can harm his cattle or even be fatal. Any time our livestock lose the production that they can give you every day because uh, they're fighting the, the fever tick or, or the disease that that fever tick creates, that is hurting us because the cattle business is not all that profitable. He says he's in the permanent quarantine zone between the Rio Grande River and Expressway 83. That means every time he moves his cattle, he has to go to Rio Grande City to have them treated at a tick inspector. And that brings about new safety concerns for his livestock. He says the dangerous and time-consuming task of treating these animals with chemicals is something he'd like to avoid. He adds the news of a new fence being put up nearby is something that could eventually solve the problem. If they're going to put other types of fences to prevent wildlife from carrying the, the, the fever tick, well, then that will be helpful, absolutely. That would have to be a special kind of fence that uh, will keep deer from going through it or jumping over it. Channel 5 News reached out to the USDA to see if the new fence project would be effective in protecting Escobar. In a statement, the group says it will be wired, not game fencing, as seen in this picture, but it will be eight feet tall. And the government agency adds the fencing is designed to restrict movement of wildlife. The USDA adds a study this year found that the installation of wildlife fencing in strategic areas along the quarantine zone will create a minimally intrusive pest control measure that augments existing programs. Now Escobar says he's happy to hear it and thinks it will help eradicate these ticks altogether. In the Channel 5 News studio, Frank McCaffrey, Channel 5 News at 6. The USDA says the fencing will initially cover two miles. This is a Channel 5 News Extra. The USDA says it will be installed along the permanent tick quarantine zone seen on this map in red. The government agency says if needed and funding is available, it could be expanded to cover up to 50 miles in Maverick, Star and Webb counties. The fencing will be paid for by USDA Animal and Plant Health Inspection. The Texas Animal Health Commission will be responsible for ongoing maintenance.